Is Mexico all drug cartels and fancy beach resorts? We don't think so. Come with us as we travel by RV with 12 other couples on an epic three-month adventure to explore the culture, history, and food of our neighbor to the south. Good morning, everybody, on day two. After a fabulous night, we are off to Zacatecas today in about a half an hour. So you can see our fabulous group here. We're all kind of getting ready to go for the morning. We're leaving at 8 a.m. We get an early start. We have about 240 miles. So we're going to catch you down the road in Zacatecas. Well, we'll have a mine tour and a Corona Brewery tour. everything takes longer in a caravan. <laughs> we're about two and a half hours into our drive this morning and everybody needed a bathroom stop so we're stopped on the side of the road. We have a fuel stop coming up which thank god because we'll only have about once we get to the fuel probably only have about 40 miles left worth of gas in our tank so cutting it closer than I like. Well, it looks like it's a vehicle inspection station. Two through the checkpoint. All right, hey guys, we got a full day ahead of us. We're in Zacatecas. It is the second highest place in Mexico at just about 8,000 feet. So you can definitely feel it here. Rana's not with me today because we have a mine tour and she's kind of claustrophobic. We have a mine tour, city tour, uh, and then tomorrow, a uh, winery. And we have quite the character for a tour guide. One, two, three. Well, thanks to our wonderful guide for bringing the history of Zacatecas to life. Nothing like a good guide that we're getting on this trip. But uh, Zacatecas has been the scene of a lot of very significant events in Mexican history, including the uh, Mexican Revolution and the Mexican War of Independence. Zacatecas is most known for is probably the mining and the mining goes back to 1586 a long long time ago so we're getting ready to go to Mina El Eden and it's a really cool mine tour that's going to take us down 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 into the mine We just came out of the mine on that little train. So we went about 700 feet down. The mine itself is about a thousand feet down. So you can imagine the history was pretty amazing. And of course we have the 
awesome tour guide. Okay. Uh, not only that, you know, they had kids working in this mine. They were as young as six and seven, and of course, the lifespan of mine workers was not very long. Being down there, they uh, had problems with scurvy, all kinds of health issues, according with the dust also. The dust also. So if you're ever in Zacatecas, this mine tour will cost you about 100 pesos, which is about five bucks. Gosh. What he said. Translation <laughs> <laughs> for everything that's bad, drink mezcal. For everything ah, that is good, drink mezcal. mezcal. If you don't oh. find a remedy to it, drink, drink mezcal. mezcal. <laughs> the top or the bottom, and then all the way straight to me. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then you have to say tomorrow I will love you or my person will okay, kill All right. We have more here, so we cannot get. Oh. This will be a waste for the company. Much different than tequila. This was an awesome first city tour of our time in Mexico. So Zacatecas was founded in 1546 and it has a very long and amazing history. It is one of 11 UNESCO World Heritage Cities. So prime city for uh, silver mining is still does a lot of silver mining here. The mine we did go to uh, is not in uh, not in action anymore, but it's a big tourist site. So uh, if you do make it to northern Mexico, Zacatecas and especially the, the city center is really worth a visit. There's some amazing uh, churches here. And let me just show you this one right here. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, we were supposed to go on a brewery, the Corona Brewery Tour today. It's the largest brewery in the world here in Zacatecas. However, they're not doing tours right now due to COVID. So, uh, Caravans of Mexico has opted to try a different tour uh, to a winery that they've never been to before. So Bummer, this is, man. I know. <laughs> it's a new experiment for them. We, I was looking forward to Corona, but hey, you know we're winos. Now, we haven't heard great things about Mexican wine, so you're gonna hear it from us, somewhat wine snobs, former wine tour guide, what we think of the wine. <laughs> we'll let you know. Well, this is only one winery, so. Yeah, exactly. I gotta say, we're actually pretty impressed with the wines so far. So we're gonna dispel the myth that all Mexican wines are bad because they're not. It was good, okay, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. And the tour was awesome. The tour was awesome. Oh no. This is a really cool winery. I don't know if I'm into buying half a case, six bottles of wine, and 
there's quite a few other people that bought wines as well. I'm not a big Sauvignon Blanc drinker, we, but we did buy a couple bottles of that, a couple bottles of the Rosé, which was, was quite really, nice. That was really good. Uh, the reds are not a, quite as bold as we like, but uh, we did buy a couple bottles of the Syrah. Fabulous people there, really beautiful grounds. Yeah. So as far as the wine tour itself, is one of the best we've had. Oh, absolutely. Well, we wanted to share with you where we're staying at on our second stop. We're in Zacatecas, and because there's really no RV parks in northern Mexico in this area, uh, there's a couple of hotels in the area that actually have parking lots that are for RV parking. Uh, this one at the Hotel Baruch, and there's a couple of them here. I think this is the more budget one. It's about $50 a night, a thousand pesos. So pretty nice inside, and we'll show you some, uh, some of the inside photos. But the parking lot here is fairly spacious. Uh, they put us on one end, so it was a little bit of maneuvering to get all of our rigs kind of crammed in here. But let me show you the electrical situation here, and you can judge for yourself. Wow. That looks like fun, right? <laughs> well, uh, we do have our surge protector plugged in, and it is showing good, so we have no faults. We could have plugged in, but we didn't with our solar and our batteries. We probably should have just to save our propane, but hey, it's all good. But um, yeah, you have this kind of fun conglomeration of wires and stuff. We do have a water spigot here. But our tank is still full, so we don't want to put bad water into our tank yet if we don't have to. Now, um, sewer. Everybody else seems to have a sewer drain near their RV, but we haven't been able to find ours. So we'll go show you where someone else's is. Okay, so our neighbor's sewer is right next to their drain. We still haven't found ours. Hmm. All right, so the best thing about the Hotel Baruch parking lot is it is very safe and secure. This is a very safe city. Uh, they actually padlock the entrance gate at night, but if someone really wanted to go in, they could come through the exit gate, which is not locked. But that's all good. Um, it's pretty noisy here though, but you know, nothing's perfect. You just have to, like I said in our prepping video, you have to have the right attitude. Uh, it's safe and that's really all that matters. There's pretty noisy from all the trucks that like to use their Jake brakes right out front here. And the train is literally right behind the hotel. So it is extremely loud at night, <laughs> but that's okay. Anyway, we've had a really great time in Zacatecas and catch us on the next leg of our trip because we are heading to Guanajuato. Guanajuato.